Hey there Japan fans! Today I'm here in a very residential area of Tokyo because I want to show you how are the Japanese apartments. There are some really interesting things that are different from Western apartments and I want to show you in detail. So let's go! that is already interesting to notice is that it's not so common for Japanese buildings to have big garages for cars. Instead, they have parkings for bikes and instead of guest parking for cars, they have guest parking for bikes. And the cars have to park either on the street or they have to pay for a, a parking like on the streets that they have here. So let's see how is the bike parking. The bike parking is normal, as you would expect. Look, this is interesting. Like, they put these parkings on a rail, and one is usually more to the top, and one more to the bottom, so we can fit lots of bikes together. And, like, if you push all of them far away, they could fit even more of these rails here for, for the bikes. Now, let's get to the interesting part and go up to the apartment. So before we go up, actually I would like to show you guys this little room here for the trash because I think it's quite interesting. Usually here they separate the trash very much. So they have a space for burnable trash which could be like paper or even those plastics that are recyclable. And they have a place for pet bottles that is right here. For the card box uh, bottles that is right there and difficult stuff to recycle for example glass bottles and things like that. Once a week the government comes and picks one kind of trash. If it's burnable it's more than once a week. Week, but if it's more specific like pet bottles or even glass bottles they usually bring it once a week and take all the trash and then you can like replace and put your trash there again so now finally let's go up the apartment one of the things that I really love is this they make little drawings for everything and instead of just something written please be careful with your hands they draw this baby crying here with their hands hurting I feel so bad I'm coming in Tadaima. That's what Japanese people say when they get home. And then uh, whoever is home replies, Okaeri nasai or Okaeri for short. Tadaima. Okaeri. So the first thing is that you have to take your shoes off. I just took my shoes off here, which is very clean and nice. And they put this wardrobe here just for the shoes. Like if you have many guests or if you just want to keep your shoes here, look, it's a wardrobe just for the shoes right at the entrance of your house. They even have like hangers for shoes, right? This door here leads you to a special room just... <laughs> but it's not any kind of toilet. Like it's a special and crazy toilet with lots of functions that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But it's cool that they separate the rooms for the toilet and the, the shower, which is not so common in the West, right? I'll show you a little bit more now. We are now in the room. And there are three things that I would like to show you here. The first thing is the Nintendo Switch. Very important, should be in every Japanese apartment. No, I'm just kidding, but like the switches in the room for the light are usually not switches, they're buttons that you press. See? You press the button here. And the walls in Japanese apartments are usually like very thin. Do you hear the, the noise? It's like there's nothing inside. We live in front of a highway. So like if you open the window here, you hear a lot of noise coming out because usually the cars are passing and the walls they let the sound in but it's nice i think it's kind of relaxing it's like having in the noise of an air conditioner I really think it's interesting is that they usually have like these hangers here see i don't know uh all of the uses the, uh, for this but i know that people use this for like hanging their clothes well in our case we use this to hang some <laughs> pokemon right there <laughs> This right here, the thing that's interesting, like it locks your door in if you push it and that thing spins. And if you push it again, it, it spins again and unlocks your door. Hey everyone, this is Kana from Japan Fan and I just wanted to quickly show you guys these escape ladder, escape ladder that are common in Japan. We like to be prepared for everything here. So in case of emergency, you just open that pod to use the ladder and that in no time you get safely down to the bottom of the building. Nice, isn't it? I'll see you later. Bye bye. In Japanese apartments, they have little like buttons and electronics to control everything. Look this for example. Electronics control the temperature of the room. 
and then uh, button to control the, the temperature of the water and then more electronics right here so electronics everywhere another thing that I quite like is the sink <laughs> it seems simple right but of course you can you have like this little machine here that you can control the temperature of the water the pressure and uh, you can even change the water of the shower bathroom from here you can like be washing the dishes and you can like push, pull here and like wash over there wash over here and there are three different modes to this look at this check this out if i pull here push, it becomes a really cool shower if i put to the other side like this one i can come and it's filtered water mm. so good they even have some indicators here for the for the shower, for the normal water, and for the filtered water. And right here, conveniently under the sink, you think this is a drawer, but it's actually, oh, dishwashing machine. And you not only use this to wash your dishes, but also to dry your dishes. Like if you just have a, a small amount of stuff, like you washed here normally, you can just put here, press a button, and it would dry for you. So it's quite nice. We're getting to the end of the video, but before I show you the toilet, which is, I guess, the big star, I wanna show you the shower room, which is also quite interesting. So it's common in many parts of the world to have like a shower that is at the same time, I don't know, like a shower and a hand shower, I guess. But it's very common here in Japan, almost everywhere they have it. And the bathtub, almost all Japanese apartments, they have this bathtub here. And it's cool because you can come and like you can control the water here and the shower and it's quite nice, comes a lot of water out of it. And here, if you see, there's this equipment that you can control the, the temperature and if you press this button here you can even talk you hear the noise? you can talk to people on the other room hello and this shower room is a special one because it's really awesome like you have these features here if you press this button it's to dry stuff if you press this button here it's to like make it hot it would like throw hot air through through that vent and if you press this one here, we throw cold air. And this is just normal ventilation. And it's really useful because, let's say you just took a shower and your towel is wet, or you just washed your clothes and it's wet. So you can just come here, put everything here, like normal, put your towel and put your clothes over here that you just washed, very nice like that. And then you close the door and you press this button right there. Your clothes will now be dry and also the floor is dry so like here I'm wearing my socks and I can step around it's quite nice and it's really cool to take a shower here as well because you can like get everything wet all around you because everything is waterproof like in this little room so it's cool to be separate from the toilet room which we'll go right now let's go there I probably present to you the toilet this is an awkward situation, but everybody knows toilets in Japan are an amazing experience. Look, you have all of these buttons here that you never really use, but the main functions are this stop button, which is super important to know, is this one right here, because if you press these other buttons here, the toilet is going to throw water in your butt and it, maybe it's kind of scary sometimes, especially the first time, and you can uh, control the pressure here. You can press the button many times, it, it's not gonna do anything because the toilet actually knows like, that you, if you are sitting down or not. So let's try to trick the, the toilet into thinking that I'm sitting down so I can show you guys how it works. Okay, so I figured this out. The thing is that this is actually kind of like a, a, a pressure sensor or a button. You hear the noise? So if I press here, it knows that I'm actually sitting down. So <laughs> let's try it. I hope you guys are prepared because this is going to be an awkward situation right here. So I'm gonna put my foot here so it thinks that I'm sitting down and I'm gonna press the button. Oh no! Oh no, it's coming! It's coming! Oh no, no, no! Ah! <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> no, it's all, it's all wet. <laughs> Oh my god, look at my wall, it's always, I'm gonna have to dry it off now, but at least now you know. A <laughs> little thing comes from over here and just like throws water at you. <laughs> ah, and when you press to flush, you have a little sink here that you can like wash your hands after, <laughs> after you flush your toilet. Because that's how it like refills the water in. See, the water is coming out of the sink and they just made a little sink here, which is oh, it's smart, I like it. I'm gonna try to show you here and stop before it like wets everything again just the mechanism here 
So uh, see if I can awkwardly press here and use my phone to press over there and see. Can you see coming out? No, oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, I saved it this time. <laughs> hey, my friends, it's time to say goodbye for now. And I came here to this really nice park to thank you so much for clicking and watching the video. And I would really appreciate if you could give a like in the video and subscribe to the channel to help the channel and also to get the latest videos that we make. Right now, I'm going back to the office because I have a lot to do for Planetize. And remember, if you're coming to Japan or if you have a friend coming to Japan, you must have a lot of questions. So please ask us anything in the forum. So it's planetize.com slash Japan slash forum. I'm going to leave the links down below. And you can also download the app for iPhone or Android Planetize app and learn anything you want to know about Japan in planetize.com so thanks for watching guys and thanks for accessing planetize.com I hope we can help you with a lot of information and wait for the end of the video because I always put something curious remember so I'll see you in the next video bye bye